Great news. Now, the post office says it has handled a record number of cash withdrawals recently as more people use it to stay on top of their budgets. Yeah, that goes against the recent trend that consumers were abandoning cash in favour of cards. Uh, Nina's with us. Uh, Nina, interesting one this, isn't it? Because the idea that you've got a bit of cash in your pocket, you know exactly how much you've got, how much you've got left to spend, and crucially, you're not getting yourself into debt if you're just using cash. Yeah, exactly that. So the number of times I sat here and talked about the decline in the cash of, uh, use of cash and cash points, and that was even before the pandemic, mm. at which point using contactless al almost became mandatory, didn't it? Um, so this represents a really rare reversal in consumer behaviour. Let's have a look at the numbers then. So the post office told us that it handled £801 million in personal cash withdrawals last month. A meaningless number on its own, but year on year, the number of withdrawals has gone up by around at 20 percent. It's really noticeable that in the last month in particular, the percentage of withdrawals um, went up. They say it's because people are turning to cash more and more uh, to see their budgets, not just on a week by week, but even on a day by day basis. And that is because life is getting more and more expensive. I think the challenge has always been that um, once uh, when we're in um, you know, uh, good economic times, um, lots of people pay their bills with direct debits. Uh, lots of people are happy for uh, organisations to dip into the bank account and take the money that they, they wish to take for the bill. Now, quite clearly, that's becoming more and more challenging as there's only one source of income. Uh, that might be the main breadwinner into the, into the family uh, each month. And families increasingly want to see exactly what's happening with their money. So we think that's one of the reasons why more cash Withdrawals are starting to happen. We're certainly seeing an increase in cash withdrawals to the penny. So um, families taking out exactly what they need for the day. It's visible. It's controllable. And once it's once it's spent, it's spent. So Nina, could cash be king again? Good question. So between 2010 and 2020, the number of transactions via cash went from 50 percent all the way down to 17 percent. Last month alone, we saw an 8 percent increase again. So it could incrementally go up. What's important to look at here is the reasons why. It's exactly what you were talking about, Ben. It's people saying, I can't just be frivolous, tapping away here, there and everywhere and losing that money. I can't even have my direct debits on account because it's too much of a worry that that money will disappear. And don't forget, here we are in August. We have that energy price hike coming again in autumn. We're looking at um, £3,500 a year this winter, the energy price cap going up to. So cash could be making a comeback increasingly. It's not just the pounds, but the pennies matter even more. And interesting, you say it's such a reversal, isn't it? It's almost that paying with contactless or maybe, you know, on your phone has become so easy. Yeah. And that was the point of it. And that's why we yeah. loved it. But when we're facing a bit of a squeeze on our incomes, actually, you want it to be a bit more difficult to spend. And you want to be able to see what you can spend. So yeah. they say part of the reason for this increase increases because we're at holiday season more people having holidays in the UK so even if you're going on holiday to Wales to Scotland anywhere across the UK you're still taking out your money at the beginning of the holiday saying this is our budget even though it's holiday time we cannot go beyond it it's interesting isn't it because it is one of those things where you do feel a little bit more in control if the mm -hmm. cash is in your pocket and you see where it's going it's psychological isn't it definitely but as Ben was saying we have seen this decline in the number of cash points we know now know there's some villages some towns even where you can't even get to a cash point which is why post offices are really important for lots of people so we will see It'd be really interesting to hear from you actually to hear from people if they've decided to turn to cash instead of using direct debit, instead of using contactless, and the reasons behind that. Um, Nina, thank you. I bet a lot of people will get in touch on this. It's something that we're all feeling right now, isn't it? Uh